Hi everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Finance on Your Terms. As always, I'm your host Mike Benaziak, and thanks for tuning in. This week's topic is a little bit of a sensitive one. It's how do you get couples to agree on money? How do you get couples to agree on finances or a financial plan? And that's a tough, tough thing to venture into. But I think the top thing is that you're actually having a discussion on it. That you're actually talking with each other, your spouse, your significant other, whoever it may be, to make sure that you're on the same page, that at least you have agreement and some goals, that you've come to some compromise on what your future plan, in, plan is when it comes to your finances. And so when you have this discussion, make sure you keep a few things in mind. Number one is be open and honest. Be open and honest with yourself as well as your spouse or significant other. What has gone good? What has gone bad? What is ugly? What have you done right? What have you done wrong? What are you embarrassed about? What are you proud of? Everything in finances. The more you lay it on the table now, the less that you have to hide, hold in, and the more that you guys are going to be on the same page. So be absolutely open and honest with yourself and your significant other. Second, make sure the discussions involve realistic goals. When you're setting your goals, it's okay to be ambitious for the long term. You should be ambitious for the long term. But let's break down those long term goals into realistic short term ones. Because when we set unrealistic goals, you're not going to have much luck in developing habits that support them. Developing healthy habits that turn into a better financial future for yourself. So set realistic goals that you can actually accomplish in small increments. And then finally, once you're open and honest, once you set realistic goals, the biggest thing to keep in mind is do not accuse. You guys are going to have different goals from each other. Trust me, it happens. I know my wife loves to buy shoes, and maybe I want to go out and buy a TV or an Xbox or whatever it is. You want to spend your money on different things. I know. But as long as you've set realistic goals in mind, and as long as you're sticking with your budget, it's okay that you spend your money on different things as long as you're sticking with the goals that you've laid out. And sometimes this is going to be a compromise that you come to, but as your financial situation becomes healthier and healthier, that compromise is going to become easier. So hopefully this helps at least begin the discussion with you and your significant other. As always, I'm your host, Mike Benaziak. This has been Finance on Your Terms. Thank you so much for tuning in, and stay tuned next week.